I'm not sure if you can see this, but it's an extremely windy day, so uh, let's hope the sound is good. But anyway, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a couple of different places to talk about that we've been to, but I've got a really big surprise. Uh, and I'm going to apologise in advance for the filming uh, because when we, um, when we did the surprise thing, it was really, really filthy, horrible weather. And Sue was doing the video, she doesn't normally do that because I was delivering the surprise. So we'll come to that. But uh, also I want to say if you stick around to the end, recently the Urban Motorhome uh, asked whether asked for people to say what it was under £50 that if they lost they'd go back out and buy it again because it was invaluable and I'm going to tell you about mine. You have to wait to the end for that one but otherwise enjoy the rest of this episode. The orchard camping site near Pilsley was recommended to us by other travellers and we weren't disappointed. The site was very well kept with spectacular farmland all around and routes leading to the Five Pits Trail with some adjacent and beautiful woodland. This morning we've been treated to a spectacular sunrise and Archie and I have watched the cows from the dairy farm we're staying at being moved across the road from one field to the other. Country life. <laughs> Just before we left the orchard caravan site, I thought I'd give you a short tour of the tailor-made silver screens that you would have seen Phil and I fitted to the van in the last episode. They did exactly what we wanted, and that was to prevent any condensation to the windscreen, ideal for a move on day. So as we traveled north for the big surprise, an overnight stopover at the new inn, where we treated ourselves to some beautiful food. We found some nice walks with great views and settled down for the evening in the car park in lovely surroundings. Look at that fabulous sunrise behind me. I can't believe that I've woken up to this. You can see Hopefully, just in the distance, you can see the mist, which is just kind of laying in the valley. But anyway, today's an exciting day because we're just about to head off to Holgate's, where it's my mum's birthday in a couple of days' time, and she has absolutely no idea that we're going to be going there. So it's going to be a huge surprise to her. Uh, but anyway, in the meantime, I'm just going to enjoy this for the next, I don't know, I guess half an hour or so. Final push to Holgate's near Silverdale. surprise <laughs> <laughs> so after the big surprise the following day was much drier Archie and I took a stroll to the old ruins while Sue and Fudge went running as usual what are you going to choose for your birthday mum your birthday meal mum what are you choosing for your birthday meal? <laughs> um, I'm going to choose... You've done your hair and your makeup. You, you can put it down. Um, what about you, Auntie Jenny? Uh, Chinese I haven't done my hair and makeup. Oh, no. no. <laughs> Chinese uh, I'm going curl. to choose, I don't know. What are you, what are you having, Uncle Alan? 
uh, pie. Pie. <laughs> That's <laughs> pretty predictable. Beef curry. Beef curry. And Susie, what and are you going to have? Aromatic chicken. Oh. Mm. Mm. I know. It's like a birthday weekend this weekend, isn't it? So it's not just like one thing. <laughs> we've got one final little surprise oh, for you. Wow. Well, we've got one final little surprise for all of you. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Open it up. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> oh. T-shirt now. Yeah. That's brilliant. You have to wear. You have to wear it today. Have you, oh, you've got one as well, Dad. Look. There might be another one on the way. Oh. Oh. that's great. Oh. Oh no. Oh, Alan. Oh, I mean, if the sizes aren't quite right. Oh, thank you. The sizes are quite right. You have got a few. Yeah. <laughs> have you not got one, Sue? Oh, look, you've got yours on. Yeah. <laughs> Do we just like that? <laughs> yeah, Uncle Alan, could you act, na act natural? <laughs> Just act natural, oh, like. Oh, 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 Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Christine. Happy birthday to you. Hip it! Hooray! Hip it! Hooray! Hip it! Hooray! Thank you. Cheers, Cheers. everyone. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. 21 today. 21 today. I've got the key of the door, I've never been 21 before. Father says she can do what she likes, and she's away. She's a jolly little fellow, she's 21 today. Catherine and Sue giving us that lovely surprise, turning up at the caravan. And the t-shirts! Oh, and also the t-shirts. The motorhome t-shirts. Motorhome home's got it. Modelled, modelled here by Auntie Jennifer and and my dad. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> the trouble is they won't come back. <laughs> now don't forget, I'm going to tell you about my bargain motorhome essential. But in the meantime, sit back, relax, and enjoy the early autumn light over this part of Morecambe Bay. open goes into this when I open the door what you'll see is it's a bit loose it's not a particularly good connection so my bargain item is this that I promised to tell you about and it's a suction cup I turn it over first time I did it I didn't think it would work if you just make it a little bit damp and then I'm just gonna put a little bit of damp here on the van and then watch this for magic so 
I then attach that to the side of the van, close that, that's under the screen at the moment, but as you can see, really strong, really strong hold. And then the magic of a bungee comes round, clips into there, and when it's windy, the door doesn't blow closed. So I appreciate this week's has been a little bit different from usual because of big birthday celebrations. But if you've enjoyed it, then please give us that big thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already and clang that little bell so you get those notifications every time we post another video. Until next week, see you then.